Uh, so SF Votes 2008, you know, had its initial push, and uh, it went out. It had the candidates that did a lot of the work for me of, uh, you know, the community-based uh, word-of-mouth advertising, sending it out. But I also did want to try to promote it through old media, you know, through the traditional one-to-many route. So I sent out emails to the usual suspects here in town, which is the television stations, our newspapers, and a couple of blogs that uh, that I tend to read. Uh, so I sent out emails, and those emails, uh, they didn't really do much of anything. I remembered what a PR person had told me about the idea that you can't delete a fax. So I made DVDs, and I mailed the DVDs out to these same organizations, and did not receive anything from that. I had one extra DVD, and I sent that out to Papa Bear, but uh, you know, have not heard anything back from uh, Papa Bear yet. So that was a uh, was a little disappointing, you know. But in the meantime, I did see that one of our local ABC stations here they used one of the videos from the DVD as part of their own interface. They have this thing called Next Gen Politics from Hertz Research, and they did a bunch of taped candidate statements that were on their portal on their ABC website and they were missing a few candidate statements so they filled it in by using my statements you know I don't know if that's a compliment or if that's an insult but uh, I guess the message is getting out there and it's doing the public good what's missing from this though is that it's not social media this is a destination website for ABC and you can't interact with it you can't uh, you can't send this video out to other people and you can't comment on it there's no conversation here so I, I think that's a really bad design and I don't think it's what people want so I'm not sure how successful this is I'll probably check back in with friends over at ABC after this is over and also I'll check in with the local CBS they had a sort of a text-based uh, project that they were doing this year I'd like to find out how successful that was. So I was pretty pleased with uh, how things were going. You know, we had the initial push and uh, things moved along steadily. Like the videos would get about 100 or maybe 200 views per day you know, cumulatively. So it was quickly, it was, it was passing 5,000, 6,000 views. But as we were getting towards the end of election season, then I was still hoping for like one more push that there would be some media coverage you know I was a little bit disappointed that the one to many thing just wasn't working out uh, at the same time I had this meeting with another client here in town and they were talking about this uh, tourism project that they wanted to do and I sat and I listened to my clients needs on this other project and I said you know what you guys need is a map so that people can look at it before they come into town and then click and then these videos would pop up telling you about the restaurants that these tourists that you're trying to reach and as I was saying this I realized that of course I could do that with the videos that I already had so I made this Google map in about maybe 90 minutes or two hours and you make the Google map it has all the candidates according to their address of record and you click on there and the video pops up and just like children love Fruit Loops and I love M&Ms you know it's got bright colors and you can play with it and it's you know it's wonderful so I sent this out to SFist and they picked up on it immediately. It resulted in about 300 views for the map uh, from this article and it resulted in about 700 or 800 clicks during one afternoon for those uh, for the videos that I had up of the candidates. So you know 300 views resulted in 700 clicks people would look at this thing and because they could interact with it they would want to play with it and you know I wish I had thought of it earlier in the process but uh, you know I was really glad that they had a little positive uh, boost right there in the final few days of the election season so the findings from this are you know pretty much nothing is magic uh, it takes work it's not hard you know it's low cost I believe that anybody can do it but it it's not automatic you do have to keep goosing it along you know you have to put a little bit of a uh, care and uh, gardening into it in order to make it grow also 
the idea from last year to this year, uh, just really embracing the idea that an open hand is better than a closed fist. If you've read Wikinomics, you've probably heard that, you know, an open hand can hold more sand than a closed fist. And you have to really apply that to sending your videos out, sending your content out there. Let it be embedded on blogs. Let it be put up on articles and candidates' websites. The idea of having a destination portal just doesn't work very well. It, it's really hard to herd viewers, especially for a project that has a short time span. And the third thing is to manage your expectations. I mean, was Stephen Colbert really going to play that DVD? No. You know, I, I sent it to him just kind of fun to see, you know, what would happen. But a national broadcaster can't do anything about local elections. In fact, our local broadcasters can't really do anything about local elections because they're broadcasting outside of the city. They're broadcasting to several counties. It, it would be impossible for a radio station or a television station to report on something at a local or a neighborhood level. If you look at the city of San Francisco, there's probably 700,000 residents here. And if you look at one neighborhood, like one district, it's one-tenth of that, so that's about 70,000 people. And then you consider who has access to the internet, who speaks English as a primary language, who even bothers to vote and is interested and might think of using this as a tool. My guess is that it's really only about 15,000 people that's the target audience that you might reach with these neighborhood level videos. So the format and the delivery tool of YouTube and online is really the only appropriate media that can be bothered to address this. It's just beneath national uh, level projects such as you choose. They can't be bothered to do it. And what you call a local TV station just can't be bothered to try to reach 15,000 people. It doesn't make economic sense. But it does make sense for online delivery and for local communities. So during the next year, I want to try this out again in San Francisco. I'm sure that we're going to be doing that. Uh, for our own San Francisco project, I'll probably be adding a standalone website to it just so that that can be a template and a comparison tool versus just using YouTube in case you know people have doubts about the, uh, the portal concept. And I'm also going to try to work with another Bay Area government access channel that I think I would like to, even without night news funding, I would like to try to get another sample project because uh, I really believe in this project and I think that it's available to just about anybody that wants to put a little time and just a little bit of effort into it. It can really reach and serve local communities and there hasn't really been a tool doing this before. So thank you very much and uh, look forward to hearing from you, huh? Thanks.